Can autoimmune diseases be cured? If you had asked me this question about five years ago, I would have said, no, we currently don't have any therapies that cure autoimmune diseases. However, a new therapy has come out that might change the answer to this question. Welcome back to my channel if you've been following me. And if you're new here, my name is Dr. Micah Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist. And in this channel, we talk about all things related to autoimmune diseases, integrative medicine, and also rheumatology. And today, we're gonna to be talking about a new therapy that could possibly cure autoimmune diseases. Now, I'm gonna go over this article with you real quick. And this was published back in January from a prestigious journal called Nature. And the title of this is, Can Autoimmune Disease Be Cured? Scientists See Hope At Last. Can Autoimmune Disease Be Truly Cured? This is one of the most intriguing questions that we have. I always tell patients, you can definitely go to remission with or without medications. However, a cure is different because that means you stay in remission forever and it doesn't matter what you do. You can eat the most inflammatory foods or have the most inflammatory lifestyle, but your disease stays in remission forever. So that to me is quite hard. Currently, we only have immunosuppressive medications to calm down autoimmune diseases. Now, although they're great and can work, there is the risk of side effects such as an elevated risk of infections and cancers as well. And with these immunosuppressing medications, it does not eliminate the source of the disease or the root cause. Now you have to understand that one of the ways we get autoimmune diseases is through a loss of immune tolerance. And what that means is our immune system stops recognizing itself as a place where it shouldn't be attacking. Not only does it attack viruses and bacteria, but it also starts attacking itself. We have built-in defense mechanism in each of our bodies that is broken down in autoimmune diseases. And immunologists have been trying for many, many years to figure out ways to restore this immune tolerance so that our bodies can stop attacking itself. Before we talk about the therapy that could be a game changer in treating autoimmune diseases, I do want to talk about some immunology here to get you to understand how this works because it is so important. As I mentioned earlier, immune tolerance is where your body is able to recognize itself and not attack your own body cells and tissues. Now your immune system is made up of T cells and B cells. And these T cells and B cells are really important to fight off any infections and viruses and cancers as well. And they are also involved and implicated in autoimmune diseases. Just like you and I go through an educational process throughout our lives, so do these T cells and B cells. And T cells get their education in the thymus and the B cells get their education in the bone marrow. They are getting educated on being able to recognize your own body so it doesn't attack itself. If there are T cells and B cells that are too reactive to your own body, then your body's immune system will get rid of them so they don't grow up and become adults and function in our body because that's kind of dangerous. But from time to time, things do slip through. And if our immune system isn't functioning properly, then it can contribute to the autoimmune process. So that's one of the ways that your body has built in defense mechanisms so that it doesn't go through an autoimmune process because that's what we don't want. But fortunately, um, there is a group of us that have autoimmune disease, which is probably why you're listening to my channel. Now let's move on to talk about the therapy that can change the game for autoimmune disease. And that is called CAR-T therapy. CAR-T therapy was originally developed to fight cancer and is currently being used in the field of oncology for treatment. The way that CAR-T therapy works is that it's able to recognize specific receptors on cells. And through that process, it's able to kill off specific target cells in the body. And specifically in the field of oncology, 
those are the cancer cells. And in the field of rheumatology and different autoimmune diseases, that would be the immune cells that are attacking our own body's tissues and cells. And CAR T therapy does have the advantage of being very precise compared to our immunosuppressive medications, where it's a blanket treatment, where it will suppress a part of the immune system that we do need to function properly and to fight off infections. And in the study in the Nature Review Journal, they mentioned that there were 15 people in the study, eight with lupus, four with systemic sclerosis or scleroderma, and three with myositis. The patient's symptoms improved and the patients did stay in remission. Also, the first patient in the study, which was a lupus patient, passed the 1,000 day mark with no sign of disease. So this is pretty remarkable if they're able to do this and hopefully they can do it with minimal side effects. And I do want to mention another study as well. So there was an abstract at the American College of Rheumatology's 2023 conference. And in the study, they targeted treatment resistant lupus patients. And they had CAR T therapy between the years 2021 and 2023. And what they showed was pretty incredible. They had several patients that had the double strand DNA, which is one of the antibodies you find in lupus, and also the Smith antibody as well go away. So this is something that hasn't been done before in rheumatology. I've seen it in various cases, but not consistently enough. So this therapy, if it's truly brought to the market, can be a significant game changer to patients because I have had patients I've seen before because I have had patients that are treatment resistant. You can put them on medication after medication and it doesn't work. And of course, there's integrated treatments as well. But during my training process, we would only use medications back then. And I've seen patients go through five, six, seven medications and it didn't really fix the problem. And on top of that, some patients get allergic reactions or the medication could work and then it fails. So we see that all the time in rheumatology. Well, what about the side effects of CAR T therapy? Well, when we look at the cancer field, there are a couple of side effects that they do mention. And I got these side effects from the American Cancer Society. Since I don't use CAR T therapy in my office, I'm not an oncologist. And currently this type of therapy is undergoing trials at this time. So some of the side effects of CAR T therapy in cancer patients are cytokine release syndrome, nervous system problems, and also allergic reactions. And cytokine release syndrome is pretty much your body releases a bunch of immune cells called cytokines that get released into the blood that can cause fast heart rates, shortness of breath, fevers, dizziness, and also pain as well. I hope you don't see these types of side effects in our autoimmune population. So I am pretty excited to see this type of therapy come up. And I had to do my research and read articles to give this YouTube video to you guys so that you guys can hopefully digest this as well. So tell me what you think. Comment below. Do you know someone that's tried this? Have you tried this type of therapy yourself? And what do you think? And if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I put a lot of effort in and time to deliver this education to you all because I think it's so important because not only does it help me when I do this research, but hopefully it helps you as well. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.